Now, what happens? So, if there is a dipole like this, okay, and we show it like that in chemistry, we do not show it like this. Now, we show it like that. There is a dipole like this, so it, so it produces a field and it then polarizes something else. Now, this is a positive end and this is a negative end. You see that? This is a negative end, this is a positive end, this is a negative end, this is a positive end. So, what happens? The interaction that develops between dipole and dipole has got electrostatic attraction about them. Correct? Now, the moment there is electrostatic attraction, now what will happen to the solid? The solid will be a, a bit less soft. Correct? It will be a bit less soft. It will it will be it, it, it might not be a gas or a liquid. It might start becoming solid. Its melting point will go up though it will still remain a non-conductor of electricity. Fine? So, here um, the dipole-dipole, this is called dipole-dipole interaction. The dipole-dipole interaction leads to stronger forces forces between the molecules as as explained okay example solid SO2 or solid NH3. So, though they have a tendency to be a solid 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 I'll write like that they have a tendency to be a solid still most of them are a liquid or a gas at the room temperature fine but the tendency obviously is more than the non-polar ones that is to be understood then what they have high higher melting and boiling points than than non-polar solids, non-polar molecular solids. Though they are still non-conductors of electricity, non-conductors of electricity right 